Hey, all my loyal subjects! It's me, Princess Sword Art the Gamer Queen here, back with another Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So in this part of the Let's Play, we're going to be doing a few side quests before going to, going to track down that missing pinwheel again. So before we get started, I'm aiming for a goal of... 5,000 subscribers here on the channel. It's currently 73.3% of you who watch my videos has not subscribed yet. But if you're new to the channel and want to see more awesome content like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to join my kingdom of heroes. Because let's see that subscribe percentage go up! As it's one of my goals to be able to get to go up, as not subscribed has been going back up a lot and it has been going down bit by bit recently as i know it's just because of new people seeing the channel for the first time and whatnot but if you're new and want to help see this channel grow make sure to hit that subscribe button below to join my kingdom of heroes also with this video we're currently at 1234 subscribers and i just gotta say i'm so happy and excited as i know we just passed the previous goal about a month and a half ago but let's keep pushing forward to get to that next goal as soon as we can but just also i'm very i'm very happy just very thankful for every single one of you who's liked commented subscribed and watched these videos so far as it really means so much to me as i love making awesome content here on the channel for everyone to watch enjoy and have fun but also right now over on the channel discussion i have a voting going for who else agrees there should be voice acting in Nickelodeon All-Stars Ball. And a lot of you have been saying yes so far as we've got already got 82 votes in. But let's keep going forward to show Nickelodeon how much we want voice acting in Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. So now without further ado, let's get right to the video. Alright. Sorry if you hear squawking in the background, just the guard's parrot. Alright, so we, what we want to do first is talk to Henya. And remember that ghost in the bathroom story we heard? Well, woman sobbing in the academy? Well, we talk to Henya, we hear more from her. At night, who in the world is down there? I just wish they piped down. Alright, so then what we're going to want to do... Hey, Colin! <laughs> no, he, he was brave enough to go to the surface to find Zelda. Because I gotta say, it took a lot of heart for him to be able to do that. To follow Link and... Alright. Let me sleep until night. Because then we'll go to the bathroom. Alright. Alright, we're also, let's see Fledge again, because I think now... <sighs> hey Fledge! <sighs> Alright, so he still doesn't need another stamina potion yet, but I'll make sure to check up on him. <laughs> He's doing pretty good. Alright, no, not right there. Right there. What in the world? I'm going to the bathroom. I mean, who locks the bathroom at night? Alright. Because I might be mistaken. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a ghost! Head into the bathroom. 
paper. Hey, this reminds me of the one... Because if you... If most Zelda fans know in Majora's Mask, there was a hand that asked for toilet paper. It's crazy to see that... feel like kind of an easter egg to this in Skyward Sword. Because does that feel like a little bit of an easter egg to anyone else? I definitely want to know. Alright. Let's head out. And then let's talk to Colin. Hmm, should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? Whoa, Link, it's you! Don't sneak up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now, and you're distracting me. Dilemma? You wanna hear about it? Hmm, normally I never, but ever tell someone like you, but these are dire times. It's all good, Colin. Just tell us what the problem is. Come to think of it, you might be just the person I need. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. But whatever, let's do this. Link, I have a task for you. So listen up, your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure that you deliver it. Huh? What's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? You fool, how dare you? This is more ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter, a very special one at that. I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like... All right, fine, it's a love letter. And that is why, why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? Yes. All right. So listen up, the person you must give it to is a girl, an upperclassman. Her name is Karane. Yeah, we know her. Yeah, her round hat, she's really cute. Yeah, we know her. All right. Because I know Colin's a part of Bruce's gang and all, but still, it would be wrong doing that to him. <laughs> Let's go give this to Karane. So if I remember correctly, she was outside the last time we've seen her. Hey, Pippet! Okay, maybe... Because I'm trying to remember the last place I saw her was. <laughs> maybe in the classroom? Karane, you in here? Oh, there she is! Hi! Uh, oh, Pippet, how can I get you to notice me? Ah, ah Link! Uh, what's the matter? Do you, uh, need something? I wonder if you heard what I was just talking about. I'm gonna give her the letter. A letter for me? Could it be from Pippet? Uh, it's better if... I wonder who it's from. Whoa. That's some real terrible handwriting. Anyway, never mind that. Let's just see what it says. Greetings, my love. For you, it's wider than the horizon, deep the deeper than the clouds. Aww, that's pretty sweet. It's just the way he wrote that. It's pretty adorable. I would like very much like it if you would go out with me. Your brave knight, Colin. Eh, sorry, Karane. Wow, this Colin guy isn't he one of Gruce's flunkies? And this is a love letter from that Colin kid, right? Ooh boy. <laughs> so yeah, I have to say, he really put his heart into it and everything. I don't know, maybe I should consider going out with Colin. Ha, as if. <sighs> I w wonder what Pippa would think if he knew about this. Hey, but still, but still, it's better to get the feelings off your chest instead of just hold it in. <laughs> what? You actually did it? You gave the letter to Karane? Oh no, oh no, what now? What do you think do? Maybe I should go see what she thought of the letter. Ah, but this is so embarrassing. All right. 
Thank you for bringing me the letter, Link. Uh, I wonder what Pippet was... Hmm. Maybe... Maybe we should go talk to Pippet. Pippet? You up here? Hey! Good to see you. What's up, Link? Huh? Karani got a love letter? I see. That's interesting. Wow. Um, what do you think she intends to do? Datum? What? This is a big problem, isn't it? Oh, I mean, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Karana, you know? And they both had feelings for each other, but they couldn't... Wow. That's pretty crazy. You two really seem to like each other. I mean, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that can't really be called love at all, you know what I mean. So I just- so I should just step in and make sure that she's found a true love that inspires the highest ideals of our fine educational institution, right? And what about me? I have the right to experience an unfettered and passionate love too, don't I? You understand, don't you, Link? I'm not wrong about this, am I? You like her? What? Don't be ridiculous, Link. I don't even understand how you can make such a wild accusation. Well, either way, I don't suppose you'd mind asking her what her decision is going to be, would you? Alright, seems like we got a love triangle going on. Alright. Back to her, and she's in there with Colin. You're the one who sent the letter, right? Yes. <laughs> See? It was a wonderful love letter. Thank you. <laughs> it, it wasn't that great. Still, the wording in it was pretty cool. And pretty awesome. Beautiful. And, um, what's your answer? My answer. Ah, my answer. <laughs> oh, please, go out with me. Hey. Wait. I think you should go out with me instead. I mean, or I want to ask you out. Huh. Hey, that noise made of was in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What? Hey, hold on there. What are you trying to pull all of a sudden? Er, uh, I want to go out with Pippet. <laughs> uh, see you, fool. I knew she would choose me. She's been checking me out for weeks, though. So wait a second. <laughs> wait, really? Aww. Hey, s sorry, Colin. But I know one day he might make a girl really happy. Truly? You choose me? Yes, I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> this can't be happening. Aww. Poor Colin. Yeah. Link! When you told me about the letter, it was at that moment I finally realized. I realized I loved her. Aww. That's so adorable. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone else take her from me. If you hadn't told me, I might have never even noticed my own feelings for her. Wow. I'm so grateful. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Well, with gratitude crystals, of course. You got five gratitude crystals. Awesome. Alright. Woo! 26. But also, let's go check in with Petrus and see how she's doing. Because we still gotta get the gratitude crystals from her. Darling, I've been waiting for you. You can trust me with anything, or your stuff, I mean. Um, no thanks. <laughs> mm, no thank you. Because there's a quest we'll have to do for him later. So we'll check it in to see, see what quest we gotta do. Alright. Right.
All right, not the house we're looking for. Gotta find Petrus's house. Definitely not it. All right, Gondo's house. And where's Petrus's house? to be it. Okay, no. Ah. Darn it. Wrong again. Wait, what the? Oh my god, there's a goddess chest. Wait a minute, is it right here? Oh! <laughs> Didn't think to look in the most obvious spot. Alright, until night. daughter? Uh. Right, because Peter, Peter knows about some guy, some guy with his daughter. Yep, the shining star of the item check is the source of my problem. That's my daughter, daughter in case you forgot. She's been out of sorts lately. She'll be sitting staring off into yonder and then she'll be redder than the tomato on the vine. Wait a, just a gosh darn minute. I know what's going on. My sunshine's got herself an unwanted admirer. Not that I can blame the feller. She's as sweet as honey and twice as pretty as a spring flower. Nope, three times as pretty. It's no wonder the boys buzz around her like a swarm of amorous bees. But I won't stand for it. No way, no how. I'm gonna find that rascal and give him a good old whooping. You gotta help me out. You see anyone buzzing around my little flower? You send him what for and send him packing. And the fact that he doesn't know that slink is pretty crazy. I'll keep my peepers peeled too, but I can't stand and watch all day. I promise I'll make it worth your while. You chase off the varmint off, and I'll let you chat with the apple in my eye. Hush, you don't have to say a word. I can see how you feel by a spark in your eye. If there's not a fellow alive, we wouldn't jump at this chance. Oh, sorry about the pa- The guard's parrot squawking in the background. Use this old man's heart and get rid of the lowlife who's pestering my baby girl. I'm counting on you, Link. Alright. Hi, Petrus. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to break off our relationship with Petrus. But hey, it's the right thing to do, because I know Link's heart belongs to Zelda. Uh -huh. Oh wait, no, it wasn't at night. Wait until morning. And then we're gonna go outside. 
Because at least we got the little markers to be able to tell us where to go next. Then we gotta see Petrus in the, in the bazaar. Okay, so now let's go get that goddess chest. I really hope to be able to find all the goddess cubes from all doing this. Oh, that's how... Because I still gotta figure out how to be able to swim faster. We'll just... Because you guys know. Hey, Pippet! <sighs> Alright. Yeah. How far off we? We must get to the Elven province. We didn't find it in Farron Woods, but I believe All right, let's search around for it and then call for Scrapper Because I've been looking into where it might be Right there. Let's head up the mountain. Alright. Should get my reinforced metal shield out. fully upgraded the beetle in the last video. Haha. <laughs> My, tough, my stuff on the finishing blow. Ooh, golden skull! Go away! up there. Also, but let's go check on Tubert. Ooh, um, 
beginner. Ooh. All right, 30 rupees. Good one, Tubert. Mm -hmm. Aw, thank you. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Bye, Tubert. All right. Let's go track down that pinwheel. Just gotta make up the mountain again. I figured a good place to start would be right at the base. To be able to scan down to where it was. Yay! Got all three of them. Hey! Oh no! I'm a Get me. Thank God that didn't knock me off. Sheikah stone, or gossip stone. Boing! I love the little noise they make. Right there! I should have thought about this right here, Fi. This is the windmill propeller you were searching for. All right. All right, let's call Scrapper. Ooh. Oh, there he is. Hey, Scrapper. I love how they look like little pirates. The little robots we've seen in the Nehru Desert. This is fine. I hope you weren't waiting long. So, do you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Short Pants, you're on my way here. I said get out of the way. 
I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take long. Alright. Alright. Right. I like how he's in love with Fi. Just how it's like, love at first sight. Alright. But, let's return to the sky. Yes. Back to Skyloft. Get that propeller. Put it in its place. We got the propeller. Thanks, Scrapper. Here's the windmill propeller. Zap. If you need me, zur, clang, free, feel free to call. For Mr. Spy, I will travel to any destination. Per there you go, Jackamar. Whoa, isn't that that beat up old robot from Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that? Yep. It is! That's the windmill propeller! That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Well, it's not impossible to get below the clouds anymore. Are you saying that whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actu actually true? Hmm. Somehow I get the feeling this is all some elaborate prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. Ain't no elaborate prank. Ah, prank. I can tell you the truth right there. Phew! Thought I'd do it. If I can find some way to spin the propeller, you could probably turn the windmill hey. around. Honey! Honey! Oh no, I think I prom- I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I swear that woman's always looking for somebody. See you around, Link. Thanks, Jackamar. It really helps to help save the world. Alright, use the gust bellows. And then when we see it- Alright. Alright, lit up. And with both windmills- Pointed at the tower, it opens up. Alright. Keep the stamina potions on me just in case. Run the pippin and he's able to do more push ups. Alright, here we are.
Wow, I'm pretty- I'm getting pretty good at this. Because it was pretty rough for me the first time, but hey, at least I'm getting better. And we've done it! We played the Ballad of the Goddess. Fly sounds so beautiful just singing it. Such a beautiful melody. Thanks, bye. All right, but now let's see where it takes us. <gasps> Whoa! All right, our next destination is finally opened. Now, where's that gonna take us? Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. Alright. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. Alright, we will, Sai. That was so beautiful, because I gotta say, this Skyward Sword was definitely worth the re-release, and... It just really shows how beautiful the beginning of the whole story of Link's ancestry and Zelda's is. But just how the legend truly began. Because I know some people- Because as I've said before in this Let's Play, I know I would have really loved to see Wind Waker and Twilight Princess get re-releases. But hey, you never know. Because maybe they're holding on, just doing it one by one until- the Wild 2's release, cause... Alright, until night... Cause I know we all... Really wanted it, but... Think of it this way... If they're... If they're really holding off, then it could be a lead up to just... Recapping the whole story... Up to so... Up... <laughs> Alright, but... I'll save it for later, but... Petrus. Link, you came to see me. Thank you. The truth is, there's something I'm just dying to get off my chest, Link. I'm going to ask you something point blank, okay? What do you think about me? I like you. Really? I do. Alright. It's true. Hmm. Oh no! No! Ah! Shoot! Ah, didn't mean to. Ah. Darn it! Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to go back after I get this video done. Oh no! Ah! Or what do you guys think? <laughs> Stop being mean to me! Okay, after I get this video done, I'm definitely going back through. Oh, wait, wait! Ah! <sighs> right, because loft wings don't fly at night. Hey! Because only fully trained knights can do that. Beatrix's place. Cause now that we got, well, uh, I think I'll wait. Hmm. 
No! Don't be mean to me. Oh my god. Locked. Maybe. Okay. So the top one works. I'm definitely gonna have to check on how to do fledges the rest of Fledge's quest. As I know we just gotta give him the stamina potion a few other times and then... I forgot Lawflings can't fly at night. Inside the Thunderhead. Ah. No! Fly, Lockwing! Fly! Master Link, I have memories of this island. And as the Isle of Songs. Ah! It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate it was left here for you by the goddess master. However, I am unable to determine a meaning, means of entering the structure ahead. Alright. So we're gonna have to find that out on our own? Huh. Gotta rotate. 
right in there. Wait. Alright, but let's see what this is all about first. Okay, let's strike it. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with the Skyward Strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. Do you seek the sacred flames? Listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also learn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flame. Now I bestow unto you a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep within the wilds of barren woods. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Awesome. And beautiful. That song is called Ferrore's Courage. Yeah, courage. It's a rousing melody that will guide you. And we learned Ferrore's Courage. Yeah, courage. I feel I can't speak today. Ugh. Master, you must overcome the trials set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flame. I've committed Ferrore's Courage to memory. Now you can use your dowsing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. All right, because I already seen where to go. Because you can't miss it the first time you go through Farron Woods. Awesome. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna save because it doesn't really matter. Now let's head to Farron Woods. Yeah. It's crazy how much it rains in here in the thunder cloud.
right. Here we go. Back to Farron Woods. Right there. A report, Master Link. I've detected the aura of a trial gate nearby. If you can pinpoint the origin of this aura using dowsing, I can conjecture the song you learned at the Isle of Songs for War's Courage will reveal the gate. I already know where it is. Go back up through here. Hey! Not cool. Hmm. That be a listen to you. What? That ain't it? Because I thought for sure it would be. Uh-oh. Looks like we got some trouble going on around Farron Woods. Alright, explode that. Wasn't like this the last time we were here. Because where's the Kiwi Elder and all the Kiwis? So now they come in blue. Shouldn't be monsters roaming around. Something ain't right. birds. At least I got them all off the tightrope. Kiwi Elder! So this is where they've all been hiding. Hi! This is where we 
made our home. There's plenty of food to go around. It's very, it's a pretty nice place. All in all. Oh, no thigh. Hey, remember me? You ever find that girl you were searching after? Not yet. Oh, I sure hope you two find each other soon. Let me tell you, there's nothing like reuniting with friends. Aw, thanks, Machi. Good to see you again. Hi! Oh, how long do we have to live in constant fear? There's no place in the woods completely safe. One day it would be nice to go for a relaxing walk. Kiwi Elder! Bucha! What happened? I see you didn't find the girl in the deep woods. Keep a leap. But you can't lose heart. Just after I've been reunited with my fellow Kiwis, you will one you will find your friend one day. Kui! So this is where they're all hiding. Aw. Uh -huh. I always find it adorable when they do that. Just pretend to be a bush. It's pretty adorable. Swing over here. Cause I was wondering where they all went off to. Considering that more monsters seem to be roaming around the forest. Hi, Lopsa. Hey, don't worry. I won't. My lips are sealed. Right there. Alright, here we go! react in your performance of Thor's courage. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. I calculate a 90% possibility that this mark is a trial gate, as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from on the Isle of Songs. There's your sword in the center of the mark of the ground before you. Alright! But, before anything, let me show you the statue. And save. Save from this file. And then save to the other one. Alright. Saved. And alright. So this is where we're going to end it off. And in the next video we're going to be taking on the first trial. But, like always, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for more content in the future just like this, and make sure to click that notification bell down below for my latest videos and updates, and make sure to head over to Patreon to help support my college classes to help me continue the channel, but also to help support the channel for new stuff in the future. But yeah, I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen, and I'm signing off.